Hey guys, how are you going and welcome to your sixth Svelte tutorial. This one is going to be on reactive declarations. Okay, so um, let's first have a look at a simple example of reactivity in Svelte. Okay, so um, let's go up here and we're going to be we're going to be declaring uh, two variables here. So we can say age is equal to 30 and we can say let's name is equal to DOM. So now we can quite simply go inside the HTML and we can just say something like um, let's just do um, your name is Dom, so your name is, then pass through the name right there. Then I can say, and you are, then pass through here the age. Okay, so now uh, saving this, we can see, of course, we get right here, um, your name is Dom and you are 30. Okay, so that is quite expected. Now, just to demonstrate reactivity uh, one more time, if I was to go inside here, I can now add a button. So we're going to say a button right here. And this button is just going to say something like increase age. Okay, so now when I click on this button, I want the age to go up by one. Okay, so we can say on here, on, then colon, click. Okay, then we can say right here inside our curly brackets, we can just say handle click. So we haven't covered um, events just yet, but this right here is quite self-explanatory. It's just saying when you click on the button, we're going to run this function right here. So how do we declare this function? Well, we can go up here and we can say function handle click just like that. And I can just say, for example, uh, console.log you clicked the button something like that. So now uh, saving this and going back inside the browser, if we go inside the console right here and then click on the button, we get right here, you clicked the button. So quite straightforward. Now, let's increase that age. So let's go inside here and we can simply say age is equal to, then we can just say age plus one. Quite self-explanatory. Now let's save this right here and now we'll see that upon of course pressing on the button the age is going to increase by one right there. So that is reactivity in a nutshell. Um, essentially since we are changing the value with an equal sign right here we're using the equal sign to change the value it is going to update wherever the value right here or the variable age is referenced. Okay so um, what do I mean by reactive declarations? Okay, so with reactive declarations, they're basically a way for you to generate um, computed data. Okay, so for example, let's say I want to put this, um, this string right here inside its own variable. I could do something like this. I could say, um, let greeting is equal to then use string, or sorry, template strings here. I can simply just say something like, your name is, then using this right here, I can pass through uh, name, then I can say, and you are, then pass through the age right here. So, of course, uh, this syntax right here with the dollar sign and the curly braces is unrelated to Svelte, that is just JavaScript template literals. So now, if I was to pass through here greeting, we're going to see, of course, we get greeting right there. If I save this and uh, go in, uh, in the browser, we can see we get the exact same result. But if I was to press on the button, it doesn't increase because this variable right here, this variable was created at the time when these were 30 and DOM. So how do we make this uh, this sentence right here update as these uh, these variables update? Well, we can do it quite uh, quite easily. We can simply say down here, we can use a dollar sign, okay? And we can say right here, greeting is equal to, then we can do the exact same thing. So I'll just need to type that one out again. I can just say um, uh, your name is, then I can uh, just go in here. I can just use the same thing as before. I can just say uh, name and your, and then pass through here your age. So now, right here with this dollar sign and colon, this right here is just saying that whenever one of these variables inside here updates, this right here is going to be updated with the new value. So now, having greeting inside here once again, we're going to save this to go back in the browser. And we can see right here we get, of course, the exact same result. But this time, 
upon pressing on the uh, on the actual button we can see it is now increasing so that right there is what I mean by reactive declarations using that dollar sign right there and the colon so you're actually not limited to declaring variables you can even uh, do statements for example we can do this right here we can do a console.log we can say console.log and do the exact same thing and now uh, as soon as these um, as soon as these ones change we're going to see in the console the updated sentence so I'm just going to comment out the p tag just so uh, we don't get any errors or anything like that so now saving this and trying again we can see right here we get that right there if I was to increase we can see it is working just like that and one last thing um, you can even use a block here so for example you can put a block like this and you can place your statements inside here if you want to do complex things so something like that um, so saving this and uh, back in the browser we can see we get the exact same result and um, alongside uh, using these blocks you can even put a condition for example we can say if uh, age is more than 35 then we're going to uh, do this right here so uh, saving this and going back we can now increase it a few times and now we can see right there we start getting those console logs so that is reactive declarations and reactivity in Svelte thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one